Oh, it actually hurts to brush my teeth. Oh, I'm bleeding. Woohoo! Okay. Who needs a massive bag of softener? I know. It's currently two in the morning. I am still at the airport. I am currently in the world's best airport. Changi Airport is known as one of the world's best airports. It has its own indoor waterfall, supermarket, sleep pod, chow room, and so much more. I have just come fresh off a flight, and my next flight is until 48 hours. 48 hours in the world's best airport. Let's go. I have just arrived at the airport. I am fresh off of an 18-hour flight, so I'm so gross and sweaty right now. So I have actually booked myself this shower room. It was like 20 plus dollars for 30 minutes. So this is a shower room. This is what it looks like. Very clean, very big. Oh, wow. Oh my God, there's lots of buttons which I don't understand. These are my amenities. I got body wash, lovely. I got shampoo, I got shower cap, shaving kit, dental kit, and a comb. I need to make the most of this 30 minutes. <laughs> I feel like 30 minutes is not enough time. I feel so rushed right now. I'm kind of panicking. This is the most expensive and stressful shower I'll ever do in my life. I'm trying to find the key to unlock my suitcase. <gasps> Where's the keys? What? Are you kidding me? Oh, don't do this to me. Oh, I thought I didn't have my key for the suitcase. What am I going to wear? Let's get showering. Oh, I'm feeling so much better now. I feel like a new woman. Got myself a toothbrush and the world's tiniest, most expensive toothpaste. Oh, this brush is not so fun. Can you see the bristles? Ow, it actually hurts to brush my teeth. Oh, I'm bleeding. It's actually the most painful teeth brushing experience I've ever had. But I paid too much money for it, so I'm going to use it. I have definitely gone over the 30 minutes, but until they kick me out, I'm going to stay here. Done. Let's go. That was hands down one of the most stressful and expensive shower experience I've ever had in my life. I'm going to go before they kick me out. Okay, let's go. At this point, I was exhausted, so I booked an hour slot at a sleep pod. It was pricey, but the things you do for decent sleep, or so I thought. It ended up being an interesting experience. I'm just so relaxed right now. I just had a thought. If you're asleep, how will you know when your time's up? Because you're asleep. Knowing that I was on a timer meant that I was stressed out the whole time. I ended up getting better sleep outside the place for free. So I took a nap here and here and here. Ta-da! Wow! It's so small. <laughs> but the mood lighting makes up for it. I am such a sucker for mood lighting. Honestly, lights make me so happy. Anyway, this is Yotel and it's basically a hotel in the airport. This is in the airport. So like, I still have not left the airport. <gasps> and then there was lights. I've been struggling with sleep ever since I arrived at the airport. I tried to sleep hard. I tried just sleeping out in the open air. So it is so nice <laughs> to have like a proper bed right now. <sighs> I'm in heaven. I'm gonna have my third nap of the day. Bye! <laughs>
Oh, it's really sweet. So this is very much a local breakfast meal. Okay, I'm gonna go for it. I literally just ate a slab of butter. But it's good. It kind of tastes like pineapple jam, which is what I grew up eating. It's really good, I really like it. And the last thing on the menu is two soft boiled eggs. And apparently the way you have this, you mix it with some soy sauce and some white pepper. And then you mix it all together and it should be like a soupy, eggy consistency. Oh my god, that's so good. It tastes like an omelette. Okay, sometimes the consistency throws me up a little bit. But overall, breakfast has been a massive success. I love it. Then I headed to the Jewel. There were so many activities to do there, like the canopy bridge, mirror maze, bouncing net, canopy park, and so much more. This is such a nice part of the airport. It's so like big and spacious, and there's so much nature around, which is like, my kind of vibe. I feel like usually airports are so stressful. It's not comfortable, it's hot, it's sweaty, it's tiring. So to have a space like this in an airport is like unheard of. That is so creepy. I decided to go on the bouncing net and honestly, it was so weird. It felt like I was in a theme park, but without the crazy crowds. If you're more introverted, I would highly recommend going in the evening. It's a lot quieter and so much fun. Way more than I expected, uh, but I got tired easily. I'm done. <laughs> That's just like... <laughs> I, I am going on a slide. Oh my god, okay. I want to drink. Oh my god. That is a lot quicker than you would think. If every airport was like this, I'd enjoy airports way more. I feel like I'm in a mall, not an airport, and it's like where everyone hangs out. It's currently two in the morning. I am still at the airport, and as you can see, there is no one else around. There's just so much room. This is what the airport's like at two in the morning. 24 hours in the airport done, 24 more to go. In the morning, I decided to pop to the supermarket. You know, as you do at the airport. Who is doing a food grocery shop at an airport? It's one of the biggest supermarkets I've ever been in. It's huge. Everything was so nicely laid out and perfect. Who comes to an airport and thinks, oh, I forgot my full cream condensed milk. I must get some. Don't mind me just buying What's this called again? Detergent? That's American. What's it called? Who needs a massive bag of softener at an airport? Guys, there's a hair salon in this airport. Like you can straight up just cut your hair. I can just have a haircut in an airport. I'm so overwhelmed. The food courts had anything and everything you could possibly want. The choice was endless. There was honestly no reason to leave. The food court alone made the experience worth it. There are so many options here. It's like insane. I want to eat a bit of everything. I'm hungry and I'm excited. Let's go and eat like crazy. And I've decided after a long search, I am going to go eat here. It's called the Pedang Laza. I don't know if I've ever had Indonesian cuisine, but it's basically rice and curry. And like, you can never go wrong with rice and curry. I'm actually so excited, I'm so hungry. These are all the different options you get. There's so much choice. I don't even know what most of this stuff is, but it looks so good that I want to try as many different things as possible. So basically how it works is you get a rice and then different options of meat and vegetables. So we're gonna go for the beef as our main. That looks so good. I love that you can get so many options on your plate. How incredible. Does this plate of food look? I'm so happy because this is like the kind of food that I like. I blimmin' love this kind of stuff. We got some water with lychee in it. That's really good, but it's sweet. That's really good. One thing I love already, variety. I wish we had this kind of option in the UK because sometimes right. you just want to be able to like uh, taste something, but you don't want to commit. We got variety people. Variety. We love variety. Is this spinach? It's called kangkong. It's morning glory. Oh. That is not what I was expecting, but it's so good. Anchovies are really common here. I'm in heaven with the food here. Everything I've eaten in Singapore so far has been so good. Everything. It's time to do a bit of retail therapy. Fun fact, this top I'm wearing right now, do you see it? It's cute, isn't it? 
It's actually a kid's top from Uniqlo. Did I come all this way to do shopping at Uniqlo? Maybe. <laughs> Whoa, it's a big one too. Oh, I like this one a lot. I actually really like this one a lot. I'm gonna get a green one. I hope they have it in my size. Oh no, I don't think they do. Oh no. And I really like this top, like a lot, but it's too big. They don't have a smaller size and it's a size large and it's just too big. Oh my God, I like all these t-shirts. I wanna get them all. This is a nice fit too. I really like the fit of Uniqlo clothing. Jay's a legend. She found it in a size small. I decided to limit myself to only two items of clothing. These are the two that I have picked up. I really like them. Guys, I'm in big trouble. I wanna get everything. I wanna get this one. This is nice. This is saw. Yep, it's safe to say I went a little crazy at Uniqlo. All my exploring wasn't half tiring, so I headed back to the hotel, put the telly on, and went to bed. Guys! This is quite possibly the most exciting one of all. Airport, movie theater. Free screenings, all day, all night. Whenever you want, in the airport. I have a few hours till I catch my flight, so, I think I might actually watch a movie. Let's go catch a movie. I'm gonna go catch my flight. That has been me living in an airport for 48 hours. This is one incredible airport. There's probably so many other things that's available here that I just didn't get a chance to see. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you lots. Please know that you matter and I shall see you guys next time. Love you. bye. Think it's about time for me to go. Like I died. Oh, I like I'm last night with flow here.